locked out for the day. And no doubt Mr. Clackle will find her wages two whole days she'll miss. You can't afford to be tardy in Mr. Arkwright's mill. No, you can't. And she's got four mouths to feed. She can't afford to lose a any money at all. Good morning, Mrs. Henstock. You're cutting it a bit fine this morning, aren't you, young lady? I've had a right morning of it. Elijah let that cat in again and it knocked the stew off the table. Oh. And then Phoebe was crying and Martha was up all night coughing. Goodness today me. is Elijah's first day at the mill. Little Elijah, seven years old already. I do hope he's going to be coming in that picking room with me. We could do with some good workers cleaning that cotton. I'm not sure, Mrs. Henstock. He's small for his age, you see, so I think they'll want him under the machines as a scavenger. Mm. That is maybe, that is maybe. Well, no more talking or we'll be late and in trouble. Off we go to work. Just, just 
just... I don't know. He's come a long way for sure. Did you know old Sir Richard Arkwright? He used to be a wig maker up in Bolton. He did that. Well, he certainly made his mark on the world now and changed our lives too. Indeed. Indeed. It's been a long day. Should we go home? Aye, I'm ready. Let's go.